Reddit asked me anything by Reddit top posts I was kidnapped, and held for 4 weeks, my captor was never found. AMA. Just giving a TL, doctor here, but I will answer the comments in depth, it is traumatic for me, and talking about it in portions is nicer than talking about it all at once. Basically, lured into a van by stranger using cats, kidnapped for 4 weeks, escaped while captor was on phone. Investigation started, and my captor was never found. I was 8 when this happened, and I am now 19. I am sorry that happened to you. How did these 4 weeks go? Were you just locked up doing nothing and were you free to walk around or how did he treat you? Were you fed, allowed to use the bathroom, things like that? I was locked up with nothing, and was fed mostly spare food. I wasn't allowed to use the bathroom at all, so that wasn't nice. Other than food and water I really didn't get anything else. Holy crap, 200 upvotes in less than 5 hours. I'm so happy. Feel free to leave your answers below, I have prepared an FAQ. How did I escape? He was on the phone, and I'm assuming he was talking to someone about them coming over, about 10 minutes later, I'm being dragged to another room, and before he can react I run as fast as I could out the door. Why was I kidnapped? Hey, the answer will be later in the video. I am so sorry that you went through something so awful. What did he say, if anything, to you? And how does this event still impact your daily life today? He never ended up saying anything to me, besides when I first saw him, which was basically asking me if I could help him, I heard him on the phone once, and I think he screamed something when I started running. I have to go to therapy once a month, and I think I may have some form of PTSD. You more than likely to have PTSD, which would be normal after something like that. Just remember to tell yourself every day that you're strong, and you are a survivor. I'm glad you made it out of there, statistically most people don't run even when given the chance due to being paralyzed from fear in that kind of situation. You overcame that and ran, good job. I'm glad you're still with us all and had the strength to make a reddit post telling us all your story. These kinds of traits are only really surrounding those who are being paid or were hired to do the job. If he never spoke or did anything to you, he was most likely holding you to sell you to someone for example human trafficking, which is terrifying. If you want to look into self-help books, I recommend researching CPTSD, Complex PTSD. CPTSD is not a recognized diagnosis, but it seems more fitting to someone who has experienced numerous traumatic events over a period of time. Congrats on getting away. That took a tremendous amount of bravery. I am so sorry they didn't find your kidnapper slash attacker. Have you considered trying to contact Elizabeth Smart or JC Dugard? I think they have both written books you may relate to. You are not alone in your experience, I know you know that, and connecting with others who share your experience may be helpful. If you were ever to meet your kidnapper what would you say to him, only if you don't mind? And do you ever think that in the world, your kidnapper is locked up behind bars for the same crimes he did to you but to someone else? And I am very sorry for what happens to you in the past and I hope you were able to get over it. If I met him in person, I would literally shoot him in the face if I had a gun somehow. I do think about that sometimes, I really hope he has been locked up, from when I was there, it was pretty obvious someone else had been there at some point. What makes you think someone else was there? It had looked worn down, there were stains and scratches. How was the reunion with family? How were they affected by all of this? It was really nice seeing them all again, we went to an all-you-can-eat buffet a few days after. It was really good eating actual food. My family was pretty terrified when I was gone as no one ever saw me get kidnapped, and there were no security camera. This isn't a question, but I am very grateful that you were alive and had the courage to flee from that. I hope beyond home that that man is no longer living and if so, in prison for life. Thank you. Instead of being dead I hope he rots in jail for the rest of his life. Every day wake up and remember why he's there. What he did. Knowing he changed a life forever, and probably many more and is forced to think was it worth it all day every day until he is on his final hour. I hope he has remorse on his final hour, and that he finds something in him that regrets what he did that day. God have mercy on him when he goes to be judged. Do people still treat you differently? Like is your family super overprotective of you now? And if so, do you find it comforting or overwhelming? They are super overprotective now, and I don't mind at all. I'd much rather have overprotective parents than go through that again. What did your captor look like? When I originally followed him he was wearing a hoodie so it was hard to see, he looked Caucasian and had hair to an extent, when I was actually held, he was wearing a cheap ski mask thing. 
Did the police ever try to locate your captor? In an honest opinion, it didn't seem like they cared too much, I gave a description as best as I could. Did you show them where you ran from? Like I'm sure you wouldn't be exactly sure where the place was but they didn't even ask you general questions about location? This may have been asked but would you be able to identify your captor today if he walked by you on the street? I'd probably recognize him from somewhere, but I wouldn't be able to figure out where from, and just shrug it off and go on with my day. Did they feed you proper food at all? I was just given spare food, or sometimes nothing at all. I was hardly given water, but there was a tap that I secretly used to fill up an empty can with. So glad you are okay, but I wish for your scars to heal as well. That's awful man. How did your life change in like school after the event? Parents talked to the school, and after a bit of discussion the school was just told I went on vacation, as not many knew that I was actually kidnapped. That must have felt surreal, that so few could understand how you feel when you came back. I'm so sorry, you are strong for being able to share about it. How would they not know? Wouldn't the whole town know? When did this happen? Yeah I'm confused by that too. It would be on the local news at least if not national. That's a big deal, isn't there usually search parties and posters and shit like why would this be kept a secret? Yeah it was 10 years ago hard to imagine it being a secret for a month. Doesn't add up. Now if op is saying the kids didn't know or understand cause they were 8 that almost makes sense but even so I don't get it. Is there anything you have learned from this experience that you wish all parents knew or would do to better protect their children? Please keep an eye on your children no matter what. If my parents had decided to even just look at the park, they would have realized something was wrong. Too many parents assume that they're old enough to do whatever they want. Even if your child is 13 plus still keep an eye on them. Here is the rest of the answer we have seen at the beginning of the video. Why was I kidnapped? I don't know to this day, I'm about 80% sure other kids were also kidnapped, and I don't want to imagine what happened to them. How did I get kidnapped? Man needed help finding a cat and offered to give me some food slash drink if I helped him. I had to scroll a bit to find this, but I upvoted. Maybe replies help as well. I'm not sure. On Anama I posted, at a certain amount of comments, a bot made in fact automatically, so I wouldn't stress yourself about it if it ends up being too much to make one. What kind of room were you kept in? What were you fed? Looked like a shed, was mostly fed spare food. I was hardly given water. But there was a tap that I secretly used to fill up an empty can with. Do you remember his intentions? I never actually knew, the four weeks I had spent in there were already terrible. Where I was held actually looked like it had been used to hold someone before too, I'm terrified to know what happened to them. Scary, glad to know someone escaped. Probably some sort of pedophilia traffic ring. Were you far from home? Do you remember where did you go and who did you talk to after escaping? I ran as much as I could and never looked back. I was running for at least a good 40 minutes and was about to sit down when I saw a gas station. I went in and they phoned the police for me. I wasn't able to really remember where the house was, as I was really disoriented. Not a question, but I had a traumatic experience of my own a few years ago, I was 8, but I'm 13 now, where I was swatted. No live stream or anything, the person just said a random address, and he or she was never found either. What is swatted? It's when people call 911 with an address and accusations on that address. The SWAT team raids your house for no reason. Calling a fake police report to have a SWAT team come to your home and pretty much break your door down. Mostly consists of they've got someone captive slash at gunpoint calls. What city was this in? Don't really feel like giving out that much personal information, as I have seen some bad things happen to people on Reddit. It was in more of a rural city. This AMA just feels fake to me. Vague answers, nothing really talked about, no actual information given. It boils down to 11 years ago I was lured away and kept for 4 weeks in some basement and somehow got away. Anyone asks a question and the response is just parroting the TLDR. Agree. A look at the post history and something looks off. I see what you mean. I was hoping that op would respond to questions in more detail, especially about what happened while captured. I can understand that the subject is traumatic. But why make an AMA if you aren't able to talk about it? There's literally no detail in the responses so far. I agree with you, as I keep reading, my gut feeling tells me this is not true. Just the repetitive answers, and especially the answer about how this person got away from their captor, just so vague. I sincerely hope that someone would not make this up for attention's sake. 
I mean it's probably because it's too triggering to go into and traumatic memories from adulthood are hard enough to remember let alone being a child. What do you want them to do? Describe the specific abusive acts done to them? They didn't take pictures seeing as kidnapping victims aren't usually given phones or cameras but go off Sherlock. 